Barcelona win by two goals to one. It puts them level on points so with Real Madrid at the top of the table. Real Madrid at home tomorrow against Celta Vigo. Big win then for Barcelona. Much needed. Hitafe, of course, a, a tough opponent. Weird game, though, because yeah. that, that five minutes when they got the two goals, they looked great. But apart from that, there's still this kind of vulnerability about them. I, I thought Hitafe started the bright of the two. And, and probably with the injuries to Jordi Alba, uh, Junior Firpo having to come on, Alba pushes so far up that it just leaves Umtiti and PK exposed. And neither of them are the defenders that they once were. And it was telling. It, it, it was really nervy up until that, that opening goal. But then Junior Fupo comes on. He sits a little bit deeper, gives them a little bit more cover, also allows uh, either Ansu Fati or Griezmann a little bit more room uh, to, to work their magic higher up the park. But then once Barcelona got the goal, I thought the game was in total control. Could have been three, could have been four, even before the break. Um, and, and then Hetafe get that goal, you're nervous again. As good as Barcelona looked going forward, as good as Lionel Messi continues to be, there is still this nervousness about Barca at the back. Even when they have or seem to have the game in the control, uh, under control, it, it just they just leave you on the edge of your seat. It's nothing new, though, is it? We've, we've Are we comparing them to old Barcelona? Is that the problem? We'd yeah. have to no, get no, over the no, fact no. that this isn't old Barcelona. No, no. What, what I'm saying is this is nothing new that they look vulnerable defensively. You know, for the last two Champions League campaigns, they've been knocked out because they're vulnerable defensively, and that hasn't changed. Recently, we've been criticising them, not defensively, but going forward, they weren't creating anything. There was no sort of harmony between anybody... And then the last couple of games, to me, the looks as though there is a little bit of harmony. You've got Griezmann and Messi working together, creating chances, scoring goals. Griezmann should have scored more goals. Mm. You know, you've got De Jong, who Ali and I were talking about last week, actually got in the box last week, and he did it a couple of times mm -hmm. again in this game. So a lot of things have changed in the last couple of weeks for me for them going forward. But I can't argue. Nothing's changed defensively. But again... They can, 99 times out of 100, outscore teams to win games. And they look as though now they may be able to keep that going. But to do that, they need Griezmann to get goals. Obviously, a lovely finish today. But then he has those chances in the second half. Yeah. And you can think, well, you scored earlier on. Surely you're going to be full of confidence. Uh, it's not, not just about the chances that we saw, but, but too often Griezmann gets played balls into the channel. His first touch is poor, um, takes himself wide. A lot of times his touch is heavy. And it's just desperately unconvincing. And, but then he pops up. With that finish, which, yeah. which really was something special. But you hope that that gives him the, the confidence that, that he needs because he is a talented player. There is a reason why Barcelona paid the money that they did for him, but you're just not seeing it. And then he gets the goal and you feel, OK, this, this is exactly what he needs. Then the opportunity, and as much as Stevie says, it's, it's on his wrong foot. But we, we're talking about a $200 million player here to be blazing that over, even on his wrong foot from... 10 yards. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. He's not comfortable, Shaq. Regardless of how much yeah. you pay for him, he's not comfortable. The goal he scores, right, as great as a goal as it is, and it looks lovely, yeah. but you know what? It goes, it works it goes against, his left. It goes against mm. most what normal players will do. When you're running that way to go that way, you use your right, your right foot. Right. He's gone all the way around to make sure he gets his, the outside of his left foot on it. That tells you how uncomfortable he is on his right regardless of how much he cost. How good is the assist? Well, it's just normal, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a normal day at the office for, for Lionel Messi. That's what it is. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.